Hey guys, this is Raghavya from Headphone Zone and again we have brought with us Jera's Meva Wala uh, and we have spent all afternoon today listening to JH Audio's range of uh, Universal IEMs so he has with him the, the Rock Sands and I have been listening to the 13 V2s uh, there are, I think that the JH Audio IEMs are easily amongst the world's most famous in new monitors used by both musicians, rock stars, musicians around the world. They use it on stage and in the studio. And uh, we were super excited to get these uh, performance series IEMs from Andy and Sue Regan from GH Audio. So super thank you for that. Um, and we spent quite a lot of time listening to these. So the first thing I should tell you is that the 13 V2s and the Rock Sands are very different IEMs. Uh, the, the 13 V2s have been designed to have a very audiophile like, a flat but very detailed sound signature. They are really designed to be as close as possible to uh, being an accurate sounding IEM. Uh, and the rock sands are different. Uh, the rock sands have uh, quad drivers for bass, mids, and three builds, so that brings the total to like 12, 12, per, 12 per drivers. So wow. that's a lot. And the Roxanne is tuned to be more of a fun sounding IEM uh, that you like enjoy your day to day music on. And, uh, yeah. A lot more bass, a lot more treble, almost like a, a new yeah. or I guess you could say it has a UO sounding signature raised in the, the, the raised in the treble and the bass. This is a little flatter. This has eight balanced armature drivers in each chairs. Now that might sound like a lot. Uh, and you've got two for the bass, I think two for the mids, and you've got four drivers just for the highs. So it's really been designed keeping that in mind, and, and, and consequently, you'll find that if you're somebody who likes a really uh, fun IEM, the Rock Sands are the ones that have been designed keeping you in mind. And the 13 V2s have been designed uh, for more of a purist audiophile who wants a slightly flatter sound, sounding your phone. Of course, I mean, to keep this in contrast, Something like the Shure SE846, which is really at the same price as the 13 V2s, only has four balanced armature drivers, whereas these have doubled the number. It's, it's quite insane what they've achieved with this. Um, what do you think of the sound when you listen to the Rock Sand and the 13 V2s? Which one do you think you prefer between the two? I definitely prefer the Rock Sand. I would like to think of myself as somebody who likes to listen to uh, flat audio, but this really uh, is fun to listen to. and. Uh, State of my perception of uh, of this. <laughs> it's like carrying a mini subwoofer in your pocket, I guess you could say. And uh, I tried listening to uh, the normal uh, acoustic audio at first, but this really begs to be uh, played with uh, uh, hip hop or EDM kind of music, which I think really brings out the best in that kind of music. And, and what did you use the, the rock sands with? What's your setup? My source is the PO X5 second generation. And, uh, and what kind of music do you like listening to with that? I like listening to a broad range of music. I can listen to soft rock, uh, classic rock. I even listen to Eminem or uh, new pop music, anything. Okay. Well, from whatever I heard of the 13 V2s, I was equally impressed with, uh, you know, uh, with these, of course. Um, I try my best not to compare them with the Rock Sands only because the Rock Sands is such a, um, a phenomenal earphone. I mean, like he described, it's like a subwoofer in your ear. Uh, the 13 V2s were definitely, I would say, um, less uh, less tuned towards a person who really wants a lot of bass. I thought they were very, very articulate. I thought that they had a huge amount of detail that I have not heard from any of the other IEMs, but me at this price point. The only one that I thought was uh, better than the 13 V2, frankly, was the Roxanne. Um, but I don't think anything else could probably compare to the 13 V2s. Uh, but um, this was a, again, you know, the kind of driver configuration, the kind of sound signature they had with this, uh, I was very surprised. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much. I would definitely describe myself as a person who enjoys a more fun sounding, V shaped, AC punchy uh, sounding um, signature. I use these along with the Chord Mojo for the most part and my phone. So I, I really enjoyed what was happening with the Mojo and, and, and the phone. Um, but now we come to the question of value for money. So you've got both of them. If you had to you know, talk about value for money, these are of course around the 70,000 rupee price point. 
this is almost double the price. But um, what would you consider value for money? Which one would you uh, rate as, uh, as the offer to go for? Well, as we discussed, the sound signature is a little bit uh, different on both of them. So you can't really compare them. But uh, I would say that the Roxanne at almost double the price point is still worth it. But if you can't afford it and you can go for the 13 v 2 I think they're giving you about 80% of the sound signature. So, the, the other option to consider, if you're somebody who likes the Roxanne sound signature, is the 16B2, which is a little bit cheaper, but has the Roxanne sound signature. Um, the 13B2s are really designed to be, I think, the uh, a cheaper version or a more accessible version of somebody who likes the Layla sound signature, which is, of course, uh, made for the audio file. Um, I, would, I would, again, definitely not hesitate to say that the, these are probably uh, much better value for money. I mean, I simply cannot understand how these can sound this good at this price. Um, of course, this is relatively speaking, the 70,000 rupees is not exactly um, very cheap, but I've not heard anything that comes close to this. I would say if anybody were to ask me about a earphone that I would recommend north of uh, 45, 50,000 rupees, I would definitely say that it's, 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 it's definitely worth it for them to consider spending an additional 20,000 rupees but going for a 13 v 2 as compared to something else. So uh, the other thing that I should probably share with you is that we both used the, the base configuration tuners which come with these moon audio cables. So you can use a screwdriver that comes with the earphone to tweak them around. Um, and for the most part I think what we did was we turned up the base on all, both channels all the way to the top. That's um, that's the way it yeah. It's a little crazy, but that's where we liked it. And we would probably say that if you're someone who enjoys a little bit of thumb, that you shouldn't hesitate to turn it up. Will be disappointed. Yeah. Uh, nonetheless, what I think is important to say over here, and I think Jenny will agree with me, is that it's really got all the detailing that you want in the mids, in the highs, you can literally hear every element of the music. It's a really wide sounding earphone, but I've never heard a bass like this on any earphone out there. Uh, you can probably agree, right? Okay, so your advice to somebody who's looking to uh, buy an expensive flagship in your monitor? Yeah, I would definitely recommend these if the price point is lying within this range, I would say go for J. Okay. So much for that guys, thank you so much, uh, we hope that this was a useful video for you and we're going to share a whole bunch of other IEM videos as we're going to listen to them and, and share with you our initial impressions. If you would like to listen to the JH audios that we just did, uh, we'd love to have you over at our experience studio here in Mumbai. Um, I think that you'd find that it's worth your trip to come down and listen to them. And of course we'd be carrying both these earphones and all the other IEMs that we have available with us. Uh, for all the headphone connect events that we host in the city near you. So my suggestion, just drop us a line, give us a call, come by and stay tuned for a headphone connect event near you. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.